A Bemidji group is looking for solutions to the area's urgent transportation needs. Link to Transportation met for the third time on Thursday. It was the first meeting that featured people sitting in to express their problems with getting around. Local nonprofit groups, along with Paul Bunyan Transit, listened to the stories people had to share. Distance from work and taking care of children can combine to make life difficult for someone who doesn't have their own vehicle. And such a situation can often be damaging for the kids. I'm a graveyard worker. Um, I don't have transportation for the after school hours, so he, for two years he couldn't go to school because the classes were like from five to six or seven to eight. And the taxi does cost a lot of money. Today, um, luckily I was able to have my grandmother help me with getting my son from school. So, but if I didn't have her, who could I have to, to make sure? Because the bus was literally like three minutes late getting me home on time. Not a big deal. Luckily I had my grandma. But I would assume for other people that would be a problem. I live out in Guthrie, which is a, uh, a township in Laporte. And a, uh, it's, it's really difficult for me because when I was out in New York, you know, $2.50, you could go to any borough you want. You could go from the Bronx through Manhattan into Brooklyn for two fifty. And here in Minnesota, I can't get from LaPorte to Bemidji. Link to Transportation asks Thursday's six guest speakers to fill out surveys. Over 100 total have been completed. They'll be taken to the Minnesota Capitol, where statewide transportation funding issues will be discussed next week. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.